So, you're joining me for the first video of me building this plane. I'm building a Sonix B. It's an American ultralight aircraft which um, comes in a giant kit and uh, I'm going to be building it over the next sort of 18 months or so whilst learning to fly at the same time so that I can actually pilot it. Anyway, this is the workshop. This used to be a, uh, a bedroom, but is now a workshop. And uh, I'll show you. I've basically taken all the bedroom stuff out and put in some racking. And a lot of the kit parts are on the racking. And then in the middle of the room is a huge bench which we're going to be making most of the aircraft on, including most of the fuselage as well. And then in the corner, we've got some equipment to help us make some stuff. And the plans, there are 80 odd drawings. The first of which is the general arrangement of the aircraft and uh, its specifications and then the build plan which each one of those boxes on the build plan corresponds to one of the sheets of drawings and uh, I'm starting by building the rudder and the uh, vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizer and that is this little box with the green tick in it and there we go so we started on the 1st of November and uh, so far I have made this which is actually the rudder um, this is the bottom of the rudder with the drive horn and uh, the top of the rudder is at the other end. And this is the hinge running across that will attach it to the vertical stabiliser at the back of the aircraft. So for those who are not sure, we're talking about this piece here. It's taken me just over 10 hours to, uh, to fabricate this. It's not um, fully uh, riveted together yet. There are 120 rivets that hold it together. At the moment, it's being temporarily held together with some little devices called Clecos, and they are temporary fasteners which you can clip on and clip off. They go through the hole that the uh, rivet would normally go through and just hold it all together so that you can... Uh, fit everything, make sure it all fits, lines up, clean it up and then stick the rivets in. Um, everything on this aircraft is made out of aluminium. Um, the kit is very very comprehensive. The plans are absolutely fantastic. I've never seen uh, such comprehensive plans before for something like this. Um, and a lot of the parts are pre-formed. Um, a lot of um, the holes are pilot, piloted for you. On this particular piece, none of the holes were uh, piloted. <laughs> so um, you had to uh, basically start off with a section of metal like this. This is one of the ailerons, which I've got to do uh, next. It's just a, a hollow tube of uh, folded sheet. We had to uh, make the drive horn assembly, which is this part here. That's made out of four different parts, which had to be drilled and um, finished off basically, and then riveted together. And uh, the end of the bottom end of the rudder here had to be cut at a, uh, a rather peculiar angle and then fitted around the drive horn so that it's a nice snug fit. 
then marked out to drill all the holes here and uh, there are 41 odd holes in the um, the rudder hinge all the way along there they all had to be marked out and drilled and then drilled into the actual rudder itself and then there are two two of these uh, one in the end and one in the middle to provide some strength and they all had to be marked out and drilled as well so that's what 10 hours of, uh, of work looks like. The next job is to actually rivet it together and then it will be complete. We've got pretty much the whole aircraft in here at the moment. Right up on top, you can see the running across there. Those are actually the wing spars. Uh, they come pre-made um, because they have to be uh, properly riveted, not um, blind riveted with a rivet gun. Um, they've got several hundred, um, if not a thousand rivets in them, <laughs> holding them together. And uh, so the factory do that for you. Then uh, the black tubular... Um, item there is the uh, engine uh, frame which holds the engine onto the aircraft we've got the fuel tank these are all the uh, parts of the wing the um, that go onto the spars to uh, to form the shape of the wing there's lots of uh, pressed bent metal um, components there for various things then Round here, we've got all the fiberglass, things like the wheel pants, the ends of the wings, the ends of the tail, etc. We've got some rather jazzy looking uh, parts in here, which are uh, mainly uh, for the tail um, and the canopy. Uh, the propeller, which will be going on the, on the aircraft at some point. And then down at the bottom here, is the engine. The engine for this aircraft is a Volkswagen Beetle engine basically, bored and stroked out to uh, 2.1 litres um, with a turbocharger attached to it and you can just see down here the exhaust system for it as well. Um, got to make the, air, the engine which is great. Um, I like building engines so that's going to be uh, quite a a nice little project in its own right. Never built a turbocharged engine before, so that'll be interesting. And uh, along here we've got a lot of stock material, um, just uh, aluminium extrusion, um, some hinges and uh, various other lumps of aluminium that need making into parts. Um, and then a few tools and about 500 Clecos in boxes. And then we have sort of 8,000 rivets that we've got to put into uh, the aircraft to hold it together. So that's what I'm up to at the moment. That's just a quick tour around the uh, workshop and uh, a quick look at the first piece that I've actually put together. They reckon that the whole project is about 500 hours of uh, of work in total uh, we'll see and um, I'm looking forward to it I've chosen to uh, put the workshop indoors here um, purely because it's winter and I don't want to get cold <laughs> so I'll leave it at that for the moment and um, stay tuned for the next installment <laughs>